everyone today i'm in my kitchen and i'm going to share with you how i make a homemade apple pie i make the crust from scratch and um these are homegrown apples so i just thought it'd be fun to share it with you because i'm going to be making it for an event tonight so if you're new to my channel welcome i do all things simple and thrifted living diys and homemaking so if you like that type of content please feel free to subscribe and give this video a like and um, let's get started. So in my bowl, I already have two cups of flour. And next I'm going to use Crisco. And I need a cup of that. Now, that's pretty much going to be the rest of this container. If you're like me, you kind of just eyeball it and measure because this stuff is so hard to get out anyways. Um, and I just use my fingers a lot when I'm cooking. Um, all right, and then if you don't have a pastry blender, you can use a fork, but I am just going to blend all that together, and sometimes it actually helps to have a fork handy so that you can scrape off these edges. So get that a little bit blended together. Okay, the next step is to add three to five tablespoons of water, and that is it for the crust. I will probably add about four here and see where it goes. This really varies with what all you need. You want it to be moist, but not so wet that it's sticky to handle. And you don't want it dry. You want a nice flaky crust. So this recipe was actually handed down to me by my mom. I think it was her grandma's. So kind of fun to have this recipe and it's so so simple the next step is just to get your mat wet because you want the flour you sprinkle on to stick to it now this is a project <laughs> that your hands are gonna get messy so I have my ball here and since it's a two cruster I'm gonna split it in half and reform this ball. There we go. All right, so right here I have some frozen apples that I thawed out. All right, and then I'm gonna add some sugar, about half a cup. Now you can use any sugar you want, coconut sugar. I'm just using plain cane sugar. Mix it all together. All right, then I'm gonna add a little ginger, probably like a fourth of a teaspoon. One teaspoon of cinnamon. Probably a half a teaspoon of nutmeg. Mix that all together. You really want the flavors to pop. So if you get a little extra cinnamon, that's okay. A little extra ginger might be a bit snippy. All right, I'm gonna add about three tablespoons of flour, especially right now, because it was frozen, so there's a lot of liquid on there. This will help thicken it up a little bit. All right, so now it's time for round two to make my top. So it's okay if you get cracks, if it doesn't roll out perfectly. As you can see, my bottom crust wasn't flat. It wasn't perfectly round. It's just all about taking the time to do something homemade. People love it when you bring a homemade pie to events. And that's what I'm gonna do. So they'll really enjoy it, I hope. If it tastes good, that's what matters. And this crust, I've had so many people say that it's so flaky. So really simple crust, no eggs in the crust. That's a really big bonus. A lot of the crusts require eggs. 
and this one doesn't. On my pie, I am going to put a couple packs of butter. This is something I've seen my mom do, and I think it just makes the flavor enhanced. So you can do that. You can probably omit that part. It's truly up to you. There we go. All right, time to put the crust, top crust on. All right, I did put water, I missed that around the edges so that these stick together, but you do wanna press them down. And then take a sharp knife and go around the edge. And then make your design. I'm just gonna use the fork design. That's the simplest one. You can do a fluted edge. You can do truly whatever you want. All right, then after that, I'm just going to cut some air holes and I just always make a little leaf-like design. And I'll do it again. There we are. Thanks so much for watching my apple pie making video. I hope it inspired you to try out making a pie. You can substitute any filling you want. Um, rhubarb, strawberry, blueberry, apple, strawberry. You can make things up, do it how you want. Just do not be afraid to experiment and try. Anyways, I hope you have a blessed and wonderful day and I will talk with you in my next video. Bye.